Hey there beauties, Jaleesa Sharice here, and y'all know why y'all are here. I know why you're here, and it's in the title. Yep, I got some Fenty Beauty things the other day, and I am super excited to show them to you guys and just kind of talk through my routine. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this look and just my overall thoughts um, from product to product that I purchased. So, yeah, um... I'm not gonna like bore you guys with anything else. Let's go ahead and jump into so it. My brows are already done and my face is already being clean. Now I'm ready to jump into the actual makeup, which is why we're all here. I'm gonna start with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And this primer was $32, which is quite a bit for me. I decided to get it because I wanted to show you guys like a full look from start to finish. It has like a little pump, which is super convenient. You don't have to dump any product out. And just like one squirt on the back of the hand and I'm just going to dot it over my face what I've noticed with this primer because I did do a full face yesterday is that it's a little hydrating and like you can tell kind of has like a cooling hydrating feel when you begin to rub it in I feel like this primer is kind of like a moisturizer a lot of the moisturizers I have that double as primers feel just like this so I'm not really sure if I would buy this again just because I do have so many options already in my beauty arsenal and they don't cost $32 but I will say this is a good primer it doesn't leave like any cast it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it gives you that coating like some primers do like there's nothing wrong with the primer I just don't think it's a product that I would keep replenishing. Next, I'm going to apply foundation and I'm using the Soft Matte Foundation. My color is 430 and that's what it pretty much looks like when it dries. I'm just gonna shake it up. You wanna shake up your liquids. I'm going to do two pumps on the back of the hand and that's what it looks like. That's the consistency. I'm just gonna dot it on my face. Take a little bit and just dot it. A little bit over here and I'm about done, I think. Can't really get any more off of my, my hand. Pretty much all gone. You can see that it's kind of more warm looking, kind of orangey right now. But once you blend it in, and that's why it's really important when you go to the store to, you know, get matched, walk around a little bit, do a little bit more shopping as you're waiting for it to dry and then go back and look in the mirror. That's usually what I do for brands like NARS. Like, I feel like it's kind of like that. You gotta go walk around a little bit and then you come back and you look at it and you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But don't apply it because that's what I did the first time I applied it. And I was like, whoa, like, girl, this is not my shade. But yeah, you just gotta let your skin warm up to it. but the coverage is amazing. And this is really only one application. I could go back if I wanted to with more, but I honestly think this is kind of all I need. I'm really happy that she came out with so many shades. Like I think that to have 40 foundation shades upon launch, and it's an international launch on top of that. So you want to make sure that you have something for everybody so then when it launches you know in one country or you know somebody from across the pond is purchasing the foundations they're not like oh wow well i feel left out and that's i think what rihanna really wanted she wanted a line that was really inclusive as someone who does have fans all over the world that's important to be inclusive and plus just to be freaking decent because i feel like so many brands launch foundations and they're like, oh yeah, well, we have more shades coming out next year. Okay, well, I wanted it this year. By next year, there's gonna be like more options. And then I'm not gonna want your foundation anymore. So I heard actually that Rihanna is coming out with more foundation shades, even more. Like the range for this was even good. So like you had cool colors, warm, and neutral this is considered a neutral 430 is what I have yeah and this is considered a neutral and I thought it worked 
perfectly for my skin because a lot of times like I've used Mac and some other brands and sometimes it's so warm that it's it's like orange or red and you just look terrible once it like settles or it's too cool and you look gray and dead <laughs> and nobody wants to look gray and dead when they have makeup on I'm going to use my matchsticks trio I decided to get the trio because it just made sense money wise like it was a deal so you get three of them there are four different trios for different shades and I got the deepest one this is deep 400 and it comes with a concealer a contour and a highlight I have actually let me take off the tops for you guys espresso for my contour suede for my concealer and cinnamon for my highlight I felt like this trio specifically worked for me on the Fenty Beauty website you can actually customize your own trio so you have to pick one of each a concealer a contour stick and a highlighter and you can just make your own so say for instance if you don't fall within one of the four trios you're not completely out of luck and there's something that you can customize for your own skin tone the amount of product you get is really good too so like I'm rolling it all the way up I hate rolling my things all the way up because I feel like I'm gonna break it but yeah that's how much product you get it's about that big great size and the cool thing is that they're also magnetic so like <laughs> they're not gonna move and they're great to travel with I think too just to have these three you may just want to do your concealer and then um, contour and highlight and then go out the door like this is like all you need for that and you have like a natural look glow do your brows maybe put on a little bit of mascara and some eyeshadow just like one swipe and I'm actually gonna show you guys how to use trophy wipe as a shadow and you're good to go like you can minimize your makeup bag with this trio I'm going to be concealing with the suede matte skin stick apply kind of like a triangle underneath each of my eyes my forehead along the bridge of my nose because sometimes I do need a little bit of concealer there my chin and probably this little shadow I got above my lip for my contour I'm gonna be using espresso and I'm just going to apply from my hairline to about mid cheek do a little bit here along the jawline and along the hairline I'm gonna get the sides of my nose and then I am ready to blend this out I'm going to be using this sponge and it has a flat side and like a regular kind of pointed side the coverage on the concealer is really good I so I appreciate that like it's it's really good if you need to build more you can but honestly I don't think you'll need to okay I've got all the highlight so now I'm going to do my contour this already looks so good like I can honestly just do this and keep it moving every day no other makeup needed really like this is like look at that and now you can see that my foundation looks a lot better actually you can see it probably more on this side but it's starting to look better now that I've given it time the trio is $54 so it just makes sense rather than purchasing them separately you get three matchsticks for the price of two so I can go ahead and use cinnamon my highlight shade from my matchsticks trio and for this I'm going to apply it just above the contour so right here here probably do some along my nose right above my lips and my chin for this I'm gonna use my fingers rather than a blending swatch because I just feel like that makes it disappear most times and sometimes blending with the finger is the best I'm moving on to the kilowatt freestyle highlighter and the one that I got is trophy wife gorgeous y'all and the light here is reflecting but it really does look like that it was $34 for the highlighters 
Um, they also have duos. And there's like one more duo that I want. I think it's Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I really, 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 really want that. I really, 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 really want that. I'm going to take my highlighter brush and just tap it. I didn't end up getting any brushes or any of the sponges from the line just because I felt like I had enough. So I'm just going to lightly tap. And I really didn't grab as much as I could. Because this stuff, like, you can grab so much and it'd be super intense. Like, if you ever wanted a, an intense highlight, this is it. A little bit really does go a long way. But I feel like tapping helps rather than sweeping along the face or along the cheekbone. And so I do for my cheekbone and then I carry it a little bit. I will kind of brush it here. A little bit more, I won't pat, because I do want it to show up more along my temple. And also my chin. As well as from the center of my nose down. I don't want it to do the whole thing. I think that'll be a little bit too much. I just want this to be kind of subtle in certain places. I'm just going to lightly brush it, get the tip, and there we go. That is Trophy Wife. I'm obsessed with this stuff, you guys. Like, the highlight, like, it shows up, and it's just gorgeous on deep skin. Like, <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Honestly, I think this might be my new favorite, and... Becca Champagne Pop is my current favorite, or was. But this, like it shows up and it, it just, it looks good on me. And typically, I don't find anything like this. A lot of things are really champagne colored and you can end up just kind of washing it out. I know you can build Becca up, but this is like, you don't need a lot. It's worth $34 for sure. This I would repurchase again. You guys, I'm not even done with Trophy Wife because I want to use it on my eyes as well, and you can. So that's the really good thing about it. This can double as a highlighter and an eyeshadow. I'll just take a little bit, just kind of start from the center and sweep it out. So for eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in on my Naked Heat Palette. I wanna brown this look up a little bit, so I'm gonna go in with In Fuego. I'm gonna get the outer corner and blend it into the crease. Why are people blowing up Instagram? I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to just kind of blend it out. I don't need a lot because it's going to be really, really soft. I just think it blends really well because it's not like a packed glitter. It's not anything that's going to be like super heavy. I might go in with Ashes. Ashes is right next to Enfuego. Just a little bit of this, like not a lot because I'm not trying to make it look like dark and smoky and too heavy. So just a little bit. Maybe just kind of pat it in there on the outer corner and then same here just very 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 lightly i think i'm gonna take my cinnamon matchstick and like i said you can use these as eyeshadow as well and this is the brush that i'm going to be using a bit and add it to my lower lash line could go in with a different brush, grab in fuego again, just a little bit, and just kind of get that outer corner and the outer half of the lower lash line. I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner, not a lot at all, just something not winged or anything. It's gonna be extremely subtle. So this is the e.l.f. Expert Liner that I, I'm using. I use it all the time. It's only $2 at the store. But I'm just gonna start from the middle of my lash. And 
and kind of just sweep it across, but not quite creating a wing. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and the Kevin Aquan Blood Roses Mascara, which is really pretty. It's like a red. I'm not doing any falsies today just because I just think it would be too much for this look and I, the highlight is already enough. Like Trophy Wife is really just kind of the star of this look. And I don't feel like false lashes are um, just necessary. And I'm trying to embrace my natural lashes too. Okay, so that is perversion. And then I'm gonna follow it with blood roses. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one because I think it's dry, but I'm just gonna do the tips. Just gonna boost my eyes a little bit. You won't be able to see this color more than likely unless I'm outside or I'm in some serious light. Now I can do my lips and I'm gonna be using MAC Cosmetics pencils. Actually, let me grab the right ones. Soar, which is this one here, and Vino, which is this deeper one. And then also the Gloss Balm, which is another one of my favorite products in the line. It is $18. And honestly, I wish it were bigger. Like this, it's gorgeous, you guys. It's the Universal Lip Illuminator. So you could put this on your lips alone or on top of something else. And in this case, I'm gonna be using my uh, lip pencils. Line a little bit and get the corner. And as you can, you may be able to see, like I still have a little bit of Trophy Wife highlight there. That's perfect. I'm just gonna leave it right there because it's gonna look really good when the illuminator goes over it. And then I'm gonna take Vino. And add that to the corners in line, but not as much as I did with Soar. Okay, so I'm done with the lip liners. And now I'm going to go in with Gloss Bomb. So excited about this, you guys. Like, I carried it in my purse to go eat with Erica yesterday. If you guys watch my snaps, well, not snaps, but my Instagram stories, then you have probably seen her. But, yeah, this is the truth. And I let her smell it because it smells awesome. Whoop. It just, it's so sweet. It smells like, I don't know what it is. I read that it was like peaches, but honestly, it reminds me of like a island rum cocktail. Like it makes me want to go have a cocktail and honestly, I might after this. I'm going to the movies. Oh God, it's so good. Okay, well, let me stop talking about how I want to eat it and drink it and apply it. So I'm gonna start in the center. I'm gonna press my lips together. This right here is not gonna last me forever. And I wish it just came in a longer tube for $18. I would even be okay paying $24 for this if it were gonna be bigger. Like, and I'm only saying that because I, I like it and I, I want a bigger size. Like that's how much I like this so far. And I feel like this is just kind of like a deluxe travel size. I like that it's small. I do like that it's small because I can just slip it in my purse. But I don't know, you guys, like I just really feel like I want like a long tube. And one thing that I kind of forgot to mention, um, my best friend was actually asking me, you know, about the foundation and how I liked it. And I told her I really did like it. And she was saying that she heard that some people were breaking out from the product. So I felt like I wanted to go ahead and like say that this is a really good foundation. However, if you're allergic to pineapple or papaya, maybe not. Um, this is the second brand that I've seen add papaya and pineapple extracts to their formulas. And the purpose of adding papaya and pineapple is to help with the overall texture of the skin, pore size, everything. So when you're using this foundation over time, the texture of your skin is gonna get better. So um, that might be a reason. I don't really know because I don't know who said it. I don't know what their allergies are, but I'm just thinking that from other foundations, if you have never broken out from those, it may be 
those two ingredients. Um, but Bare Minerals just did that with their new foundation and I really like that. So I'm kind of excited to see another brand doing it as well. Overall, the line is amazing. I've seen like one negative review and it was so heavily negative. Um, everyone's entitled to their own opinions, but I think Sis was just mad about something. I don't know, but I love it. A lot of people that I've seen um, review and heard talk about the products really love it as well. And I'm just excited to see where Fenty Beauty goes from here because this is just like the beginning, I feel. Like there's so many more things that can be added and I'm just excited for those things. Like I signed up for the emails and everything, so I'm ready to drop the coins. Like I'm ready to spend the money, um, but yeah. So that's all I got for you guys. This is the look that I created and I want to know if you guys are going out to purchase Fenty Beauty products or if you already have and you have something that you really love, let me know because I am open to hearing about other products, um, how other people like things, and I may go back and get it myself. So let me know. Like, don't hold no secrets. Like, if you found something and you think it's amazing, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on all social media at Jaleesa Cherie so we can keep this conversation going. Don't forget to glow or shine bright like a diamond in the words of Rihanna. And I'll see you beauties in my next video. Bye.